wash my soul in the ocean in the tears of God I let it go Hello my astrology friends this is Lada from astrolada.com and this is your November 2021 video horoscope for all the 12 signs uh, and we're going to focus on the eclipse which is happening in Taurus and a few other important events. November is a bit more tense, but I'm going to lead you through that, prepare you. So hopefully forewarned is forearmed. Uh, and I just want to announce that my 2022 video horoscope for each of the 12 signs are ready. Last year we sold like 10,000 <laughs> and uh, this year they are coming out now. They are a discounted price of $12.00. Uh, till the middle of November after that they go to the full price and each sign is two hours uh, and you can also get all 12 signs for the price of just four or something like that the whole package anyway let's start with the 2021 November horoscopes Aquarius Sun Moon or rising November 2021 it's a bit of a stressful month I have to be honest because there will be Quite a few tense aspects happening on the axis of the most important areas of your life. And the month starts with a new moon in your 10th house, uh, where the sun and the moon join together. Something new enters your life, some new beginnings are placed. But they might be quite surprising and sudden, because Uranus is exactly opposite your uh, this new moon in your 10th house of career. So what can it indicate? For some of you, it can mean sudden uh, new projects that you start developing that have to move very fast, uh, that you're a bit unprepared for and you have to act very quickly. Uh, for others, there might be some disruptions connected to your career that happens because of changes that are happening in your personal life, with home, with family, with place of living. Uh, so there is some tension that's created between your personal life and your worldly responsibilities or career uh, that kind of um, kind of surprise you. You have to replan again or you have to kind of act very fast in, you know, whatever you're doing. Uh, but uh, for some of you, definitely it can mean a new career project that starts and it might require some innovations that are Uranian, using more technologies, so larger groups of people. Um, using online or internet of some sort and that can feel a little bit more disruptive because you have to learn those new things. For others it can indicate um, a new job for example or a new boss that comes suddenly or some sudden developments with important authority figures in your life or with government uh, that you are starting that come again a bit unexpectedly you know. Uh, but otherwise, this whole month will be very much focused on career and achievements and your reputation and worldly responsibilities and duties. Even if you're a stay-at-home mom or whatever, if you're unemployed, there might be possibility to start something new. Or if you're unemployed, these are your worldly responsibilities, whatever they are. Uh, and Mars is there, Mercury is there, the Sun is there most of November. So it's asking you to be very kind of like a military operation. Uh, because you might have quite a few duties, quite a few uh, projects, uh, maybe chasing some deadlines. So you have to be quite organized. Mercury will help you with that. You might have some important activities that uh, with communications, with writing, with speaking, with business deals, with business meetings, with uh, written, spoken, administrative tasks, media marketing. This is Mercury or something connected to Mars. Um, which is just a second sorry about that Mars can indicate some stressful situation with the father figure authority figure or a boss that is putting pressure on you or that is kind of a bit more you know um, maybe controlling or manipulative because it's after all Scorpio energy there for you and especially things can escalate at your career with some more stresses around the 10th when Mars will square Saturn in your first house uh, so it can indicate a clash with the father figure, authority figure, some problem you have to solve uh, at your work position. Some, because also Mercury is squaring Saturn at that day on the 10th and it's conjunct Mars. You can enter into some verbal argument or you might have to take some important executive decision if you have your own business and react fast but under pressure somehow. 
um, you know, but at the same time, the positive of even a stressful aspect like that is that you can get done something quite complex, quite difficult, that is quite demanding uh, around that time, maybe under some deadline that you're working. But just be careful that it doesn't create stressful situation between you and authority figures, police, boss, government institutions around that time. Uh, <clears throat> I would also advise you to be careful with traveling around that time. Saturn is you, it's your physical body, because uh, Saturn is the traditional ruler of Aquarius and is getting squared by Mars. So sometimes you can enter into some accidents around that time, or you can uh, enter into some argument, or you can, uh, and Mercury is travel. And um, so be careful. It's possible don't travel on the 9th, the 10th, uh, avoid such, you know, using machinery operating with nice and such sharp things uh, and uh, it can I don't know just just a little bit more caution 9th 10th 11th around those difficult aspects <coughs> and then we're it's followed by an eclipse in your fourth house around the 19th and actually you can feel it the whole month before that and it can last for the next two three months and this eclipse is happening with the south node which means that you might have some very important development happening in your personal life that culminates around the 19th so it can start you know an eclipse is felt from the beginning of the month uh, but it can also give positive results because it's it may be something that you've been working on it might be a time when you relocate for example in november we're moving to our new house so we have a lot of focus on home and family maybe some stressful situations as well but there might be some very kind of fated Development about property, home, place of living that culminates, that escalates, that gives results around that time uh, in November, especially around the eclipse, some important development with a mother figure or parental figure in your life that is a bit more fated. I'm not saying it, that it's going to be bad or anything. Plus, it might have some focus on your parental responsibilities if you're a parent yourself and you have to deal with some situation that might be a bit more critical around that time but because the north node is involved in that lunar eclipse it usually it's about getting results or getting rewards and even something material manifestation of something connected to your home family place of living uh, that you've been working on uh, till then that it culminates then okay uh, some of you might be completing a house for some others might be completing some house project uh, but if you're in a, any fourth house career, for example, if you're a real estate agent or if you're a carer, if you work with small children or if you're in Airbnb or catering or break, uh, bed and breakfast, um, hospitality, this can be some kind of a, uh, big results, some big de important developments that happen in that field of your work with um, possibly even material manifestation results because Rahu, the eclipse is happening on a star of wealth. Uh, and death as well, but you know, let's not go there. Uh, it's it's happening on our goal. So sometimes, for, for in extreme cases, it can trigger some kind of crisis around home and place of living. But if you're in such a career, as I said, it might be more like a culmination or promotion or some big project uh, being completed around that time. Then uh, the other important event that's happening is Venus is entering your 12th house and is going to stay there till February, till the end of February 2022. Usually Venus passes through a sign in just one month, but this time it's staying four months there because it will get retrograde day in December and then in January as well. So you're starting a long period of this Venus in the 12th house. What can it indicate? Well, first of all, all 12 house activities will become very pleasurable for you, very enjoyable. This is, might feel like spending some time alone. Uh, <laughs> if you have sleep problems, they can improve. Uh, you can improve like having a better bedroom, for example, 12 house rules the bedroom. You can have some love dreams <laughs> as well, but on another level, you can start the private romantic relationship, but it's more hidden or there is something a bit maybe some long distance or maybe love connected to a foreign person or maybe an affair for some of you i don't know it's a possibility but if you're in any 12th house career or activity if you uh, work in spiritual fields if you work uh, with 
anything connected with um, hospitals, healing, uh, psychology, art, um, the imagination, graphic design or anything like that, you can have, you can start a really positive trend for four months where things are becoming more enjoyable at your work, where there is some beautiful new project that you're starting and where you're going to enjoy uh, spending a lot of time more alone and doing things that uh, you're doing privately plus venus the 12th house they say it's bad pleasures the 12th house so it is connected to one's love life to some extent private bad pleasures and venus they can uh, improve uh, that desert area for some of you you know maybe it can be very good starting from november and for the next three four months after that that if you're already in a relationship to manifest this 12th house uh, in a positive way, maybe go away with your partner somewhere to a foreign country on a holiday. Or maybe go away uh, to a hotel, 12th house rules hotels, or maybe some private getaway or go together romantically to a spa with a partner, uh, to some escape, <laughs> you know. And if you start any kind of travels to faraway places, they can go very well because the Venus there helping you in the 12th house. <clears throat> sorry about that mm, it can also it can indicate that um, you might really enjoy studying some uh, doing some research or st studying something that is connected to mysteries to esoteric knowledge to astrology even to psychology to delving into the subconscious in some way and even working with a psychologist or with some spiritual or healer person or with a psychic, you can receive very positive messages, you know, or very positive and pleasant kind of healing experience of some sort. Healing of the soul happens when Venus is in the 12th house. But there can be some expenses. The 12th house, the house of losses and expenses, but they might be, for example, expenses for your house, because Venus rules your fifth house. Or expenses on education or travel, because Venus rules the ninth house. Or on higher knowledge or expenses on uh, family matters, for example. Uh, but also Venus can uh, increase your desire for if you have any hidden vices and addictions, you might want to uh, indulge in them a bit more than normal. Uh, so just be cautious because Venus can increase such tendencies there and make you more, mm, you know, willing to indulge. <laughs> okay. Uh, but uh, also Venus... Uh, can indicate on a positive scale that uh, you find an easy solution to such problems because Venus is held and you can find solution through a spiritual teacher, through a counselor or advisor because Venus rules the ninth house that rules such things through um, higher knowledge of some sort or through a family member that helps you cope with some hidden vice or addiction of some sort and you receive some ease and hopefully resolution in such areas over the next four months and actually if you decide to quit anything like either smoking or pills or whatever or porn I, I don't know every person has different addictions it can be easier than any other times you've tried because venus makes this process of the 12th house of letting go of something harmful much more enjoyable and easier so if you have to quit something i would advise to start it already from november that will be helpful it will be one of those easy times when it happens easier. Obviously, I have to quit some things because <laughs> I've been getting a bit sicker and some unhealthy habits. Um, so there you go. This is what the most important events are. Those of you who are Aquarius from 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 degrees in Aquarius, degrees, we're talking in degrees, you're going to have very positive influence by Jupiter this month. So basically the last 10 degrees of Aquarius are very protected, especially from 22 to 26 degrees, because Jupiter is in that area of Aquarius. So no matter what's happening, despite of those stressful things, everything goes out quite well for you. Those who are a bit early Aquarians that are from around 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 degrees, they have to be a bit more cautious because Saturn and Uranus are squaring those degrees and Mars, they can have a bit more stressful period this month uh, than the other Aquarius. So thank you so much Aquarius, hope that was helpful. Check out my 2022 video horoscopes and the calendar, which is 124 pages, which has come out and it's a 30% decrease uh, or discount, only $30, while the video is only $12. Uh, and yeah.
yeah you can find the link below and thank you so much